Hi chat, um, I'm sorry, there are spoilers for the Fallout TV show's ending, so if you haven't watched it and don't want to be spoiled, click off now. I would like to apologise to this Oscar profile picture because I saw this comment and reacted like this. It was an uninformed reaction, and I now take it back. At the same time, I would also like to apologise to both Todd Howard and Jonathan Nolan, because I was simply not familiar with your game. Something a lot of people were worried about with this show was that it was on the west coast, and I was too up until I watched the first four episodes. I was hooked, I thought it was such a good idea, a great setting, the story was genuinely near perfect. And then it happened. The Shady Sands reveal. It's a crater. At first I thought, wow, what the fuck, how did this happen? I was so intrigued by this. And then the scene in the vault came. The implied Shady Sands was blown up in 2277, before Fallout New Vegas. What? Why? Now, this is some massive copium, but it could maybe be possible it was blown up after 2277, and 2277 was just the fall of Shady Sands and the nuke happens at a later date? But, anyways. Oh my god, okay. So, we find out later what happened to Shady Sands, how it became a crater, and what, wait, what do you, what do you, what do you mean this guy nuked an entire fucking city, the base of the new California Republic, because his wife ran away and took the kids? This is some never before seen level of divorced dad behaviour. And also, wait, hang on a second, how does this random vault tech employee have nukes? Where from? I mean, yes, in the show, the theory that vault -Tec dropped the nukes is canonized, but I mean, really, after 200 years, he decided to launch another nuke because, uh-oh, vault -Tec are meant to be the ones to rebuild society, not the other factions of the Wasteland. And now if I'm being honest, that is incredibly interesting character motivation, especially from someone that's pre-war and has been brainwashed by vault -Tec. But if you're angry your wife left with the kids to Shady Sands, so you leave the vault to bring your kids back into it, what is then the point of nuking Shady Sands? Just because you're salty? I mean, yeah, I get that it's like, vault Tech are the ones that are meant to rebuild the world, but um... It, it just, like, why Shady Sands? You could have picked literally any town, why not, why not Philly? That place gets taken over by the Brotherhood later on, so why not just have that be the area that gets nuked, I mean, and just leave Shady Sands and the NCR out of it, honestly. The NCR don't even need to be in this story. And the worst part is that they are. If they were just some other faction which I thought might have happened with like, the culty stuff in the vault, then like, yeah, cool. That That's fine, like, have this other faction then. Because, yeah, these guys have basically nothing to do with the NCR outside of their loose ties to Shady Sands. I mean, shit, outside of shit. Eh? Outside of Shady Sands, the NCR basically don't exist in this story. And, um, oh my god, uh, New Vegas is shown in the end. Uh, they're, they're actually doing it. We're going to New Vegas in season two. Fallout Return to Vegas is real. But I mean, wait, what? Why Why is the strip gate blown over? What What do you mean fucking they canonize Fallout Dust? Fallout Dust is now official, it's the true ending of New Vegas. The courier just nuked everything and... holy shit. Um, yeah, the NCR Ranger armor as well. Um, how did they go from what was probably peak Ranger design in my opinion in 76 to this? I mean, I can't show it, but um... I mean, I get the kid's armor not necessarily fitting him, but I mean, oh man, my god, the NCR doesn't just get butchered in this, they get outright erased, as the Brotherhood are now the dominant faction again as they have control over the cold fusion. So if it wasn't bad enough that they were in every game, now they're going to be in fucking every game yet to come. And we're not even safe on the west coast anymore. Anyways, overall, I do still think the show was good, um, but my god. The ending, like, Lucy's father just fucking flying away with the goofy-ass fucking power armor jets. Whether, when, like, either her or the ghoul could have just shot him in the head. I mean, I understand not- I mean, I understand the ghoul not wanting to do it. But, I mean, Lucy? This girl's just found out this man ghoulified her mother. Lied to her and her family. And then nuked Shady Sands. The, you know, the town that her love interest Maximus was from. 
and you're telling me you're not filled with enough emotion at that point to pull the trigger. Like, not even just to, like, kill him and then, like, I don't know, regret it later or something. That could have been cool. We could have seen how she, like, dealt with that in late, later seasons. And then them, like, trying to, like, figure out where to go next instead of just, you know, having, like, God knows how many more seasons of just finding Lucy's dad because he's some big vault tech evil guy. I mean, jeez. I just had to talk about this because, my god. Anyways, if nothing else, at least this means a New Vegas 2 or a New Vegas remake are probably going to be very, very likely now to tie in with the second season of the show. But anyways, if you want to subscribe for modded content on the biggest official non-canon fan game, this is your place. Uh, thanks to channel members, and I hope you have a good day.